How are we going lads? Welcome everybody back to another video, another objectives guide. Today we're going to be looking at shapeshifters Mark Bartra. I'm pretty sure it is pronounced and you may notice something different as well. We have got a new webcam. It may look a little bit right or it may look a little bit different. My old one I had to stretch quite a, quite a bit so it made me look even more obese than I actually am. So hopefully this new webcam is a lot better quality and just a whole lot cleaner to look at. It's a wider lens as well so you can actually see what is behind me. Not only that it is 60 frames so if I actually wave like this it is not just like a blur so i'm a, i'm an absolute love with the camera but let's get into the, the, the objectives guide i was going to say review for a second but let's get into the objectives guide if you guys are new to these objective guide series whenever ea release a new player objective or a pack objective for that for that matter any type of objective we'll go over it give you guys my tips and tricks along the way starting off we've got this pretty cool bartra card now the first objective is score five finesse goals using spanish players in a live foot friendly shifting shape now finesse goals come quite easily by pressing right button bumper plus shoot but if you're looking for an in-game example here's an in-game example to score a finesse goal it is really easy we're just using this live kickoff play around for an example but you want to be pressing right bumper and shoot when you get in front of net whilst obviously aiming where you want to go so right bumper and shoot that is a finesse goal um it's r1 for playstation or it'll be rb for xbox and obviously b is shoot on xbox and um i think is it is it circle is shoot on playstation so once again aiming where you want to go rb shoot there you are boys relatively easy assist four goals using defenders in a live foot friendly an absolute amazing tip for this one which i think you just have to do is pause straight away and move your defenders up to right wing or left wing win six matches in the live foot friendly shifting shape and assist a goal using a league a league player in five separate matches in the live foot friendly shifting shape if we go ahead and have a look at the shifting shape friendly game mode if i remember from last time it should be the complete same we are in our road to glory as well by the way so we're not going to have a crazy amount of players in the club um, but we are going to build you guys a squad builder. Where is it? Shifting shape. I've forgotten to put it in. No, they haven't. Oh, I'm just blind this time around. Uh, you've got 14 days left on it. Obviously, this objective expires in a week's time. Uh, the rules is a classic match, so it'll just be like any other game mode. At most, one lone player, at least three nations, and at least five leagues. So let's go ahead and let's get into the squad builder. So this is a squad builder we have come up with. Some of you may be able to use your main team if you've got at least five leagues. An icon league does count as well. Now, two little reminders before we get into this. The five leagues and three nations minimum have to be in a starting 11. The bench will not count. And as well, make sure you do not have more than one lone player. That counts for the subs and reserves as well. If you do have a lone player, you'd want to make use of it and use him in your starting 11. And also the third thing, a little bit of a bonus thing before, before we get into this. This is simply just for those of you maybe that you are on a road to glory and do not have a crazily high budget like myself. Um, and I mean, I know this isn't a crazily good looking team, but as I said, this is for those of you that do not have a crazy team. I had to use a similar team, a similar level team to this on my brand new road to glory for the shapeshifters, Emerson objectives, and you're playing good team after good team. I understand it gets tedious. I understand it gets difficult. You just got to stay there. You just got to stick it out and keep trying. But this is a team that has got some of the meta players is the best meta players we can use given our 25,000 coin budget um, but basically we're going to go for the 4 3, three formation so if you do decide to sub your uh, defenders up to right wing and left wing in game to help with a defender assist then you can do that we've gone for Dalafeo at left mid with Inaki Williams up top Porto at right wing with a midfield three of Saul, Canales and Pedri defense we've got Grimaldo getting that Portuguese league, Portuguese league link with Lucas Ver Verissimo uh, Ida Militao and Bruno Pires in the defense with Rui Silva in there. As you can see, we've got Spain, Brazil, and Portugal as our at least three countries. And we've got, if we start from the top, Serie A, La Liga Premier League, La Liga Portugal, and we've got a Turkish league right back. This Turkish league right back in Bruno Pires is absolutely key. And I mean, you will see it when EA do release objectives like this. Some cards that are in a good nation um, and a, a different league or a lower league will rock it a little bit. So this card might go up in price a little bit more. Um, but let's, let's get into the tip. Now tip number one would be the sub bench. You can have any subs you want. You can have any bench you want. So I would 100% recommend getting your main team, your main team players. You can make up to three subs a match as well. If you've got any high tier Spanish players, that'd be absolutely key uh, to sub on because obviously you want to try and I think it was assist or score. We've gone for a full Spanish front, front line and midfield just so the assists and goals do come by quite easy. Now we're going to head on over to another tip here, lads. And this tip is going to be 
I say crucial, if you're using a gold rear team or a low level team, like I am myself, it is going to be crucial, all right? And that is going to be chemistry styles. So we're going to flick on over to Footbin, as you can see on your screen right now. And he's taken Naki Williams, for example. Now, once again, I'm not sponsored by Footbin. Just using these lads as an example. If you've got a browser or internet for connection, for that matter, um, or if you're on your phone, you can download the app. And the beauty of it, you can see the price, all the new player SVCs, objectives, etc., etc. So a big shout out to them. Now on Aki Williams, as you can see, every single card comes with a basic applied, and assuming they're on full chemistry and the squad is on full chemistry, they'll get a few upgrades throughout the board, plus two pace, plus two shooting, and as you can see, he gets some nice upgrades. He goes to an 84 rated striker in game, with no chemistry style applied, with just the base that kept on him. But if you were to have a fiddle around and just try out different chem styles to see what rating he can get up to, um, in the position you want to play him. So he goes to an 86 rated striker with a marksman. A hawk keeps him at an 84. So we're trying to beat 86. Is there a chem style that can beat 86? It doesn't look like there is. Hunter comes close. Now we'll see Hunter does prioritize that. All right, Deadeye also gets it. So you can choose between a Deadeye or maybe a finisher uh, or obviously a marksman. Now if I had to choose, I think he he needs a dribbling boost. He needs a balance boost. So does a dead eye or a finisher give him that? A finisher does. So personally, I'd be opting for the finisher chemistry style for Anaki Williams. Gives him a plus 10 shooting, a plus 9 dribbling. Um, gives him a balance boost, which is quite important as his balance is quite low. And as you can see, he's usually with a basic. This is how he'll normally be. An 84 rated striker, but with a finisher, which costs 200 coins, he's going to play like an 86. So for only 200 coins you have to spend, you're going to be going ahead and upgrading your player and how he feels in-game by a whole two rating. So make sure to get some chem styles on if you are using some gold rear players in your team. So just a little recap, the five finesse goals using Spanish players, your whole front free and midfield free are Spanish, um, and your left back Romaldo is also Spanish, I doubt you'll be in a goal scoring opportunity with him, but as I said you do want to move him up to left wing to try and get these defender assists done, and then after you're done that, or after you can get all four of those goals, then you can just go ahead and switch him back down. Another little bonus tip for this one, if you are really struggling with assisting with your defenders, chuck your opponent a message, or you can offside trap, move your keeper. It, let your opponent score some goals and then see if he'll do the same for you and you can try to do it that way it may it may be worth it to chuck your opponent a message win six matches and assist a goal using a La Liga player um, or using La Liga players now our La Liga players in the squad is obviously Inaki Williams uh, Canales Pedri and Porto so basically our whole right side and either Militao in a small chance or Rui Silva in a very small chance you get an assist with one of them too but these four here you want to try get those assists with um, obviously you want to try score with any of the boys you want to try get the finesse goals as well lads hopefully this video did help you guys out and i'll see you guys in the next one see you later boys